We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today, on the first day of October, we begin the Rosary Month. We encourage you to pray, especially during this month, the Holy Rosary. Let us ask the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that in our different struggles in life, we may be able to overcome evil through the prayers and guidance of Mary. Today also, the Church celebrates the sanctity of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Let us also ask her prayer that we too may live the singular life of devoting oneself to the Lord, to be humble, to, be, to live the little way, and always obedient to the will of the Father. Let us acknowledge that we are all sinners and that we need God's mercy and pardon. I confess to Almighty God. To you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. Job opened his mouth and cursed his day. Job spoke out and said, Perish the day on which I was born, the night when they said, The child is a boy. Why did I not perish at birth? Come forth from the womb and expire. Or why was I not buried away? like an untimely birth, like babes 
that have never seen the light. Wherefore, did the knees receive me? Or why did I suck at the breasts? For then I should have lain down and been tranquil. Had I slept, I should then have been at rest. With kings and counselors of the earth, who built where now there are ruins, or with princes who had gold and filled their houses with silver. There the wicked cease from troubling. There the weary are at rest. Why is light given to the toilers and life to the bitter in spirit? They wait for death and it comes not. They search for it rather than for hidden treasures. Rejoice in it exultingly and are glad when they reach the grave. Those whose path is hidden from them and whom God has hemmed in. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. O Lord, my God, by day I cry out. At night I clamor in your presence. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my call for help. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. For my soul is surfeited with troubles, and my life draws near to the netherworld. I am numbered with those who go down into the pit. I am a man without strength. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. My couch is among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no longer and who are cut off from your care. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. You have plunged me into the bottom of the pit, into the dark abyss. Upon me your wrath lies heavy, and with all your pillows you overwhelm me. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. 
On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The story of a soul is the title of the book written by St. Therese about herself. It is her autobiography. And in one portion of that book, she was telling that she has been looking or trying to find him herself. What does the Lord want me to do? What is my mission? Because she wanted to be this, she wanted to be like that. She even wanted to be a missionary. And so, in her prayer, she was asking the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do? Finally, the Lord, in her prayer, revealed that her mission, her vocation is love. Ang kanyang mission ay pag-ibig. Tamang-tama po yan sa Ebanghelyo natin ngayon. Ang Panginoon ay papunta sa Jerusalem at ang pinaka-shortcut patungo sa Jerusalem ay sa pamamagitan ng Samaria. But you see, the Jews and the Samaritans have, are fighting among themselves. Mainit ang away sa pagitan ng mga Hudyo at ng mga Samaritano. Kaya nung malaman nila si Jesus ay pupunta sa Jerusalem at dadaan sa Samaria, sabi nila, no way, no entry. And the reaction of James and John is this. Lord, magpababa ka ng apoy para tupokin niyang mga taong yan. Turuan natin ng leksyon. And the gospel said, Jesus turned and rebuked them. Here, Jesus did not respond to the rejection by with violence, but rather with love. Ang tugo ng Panginoon, hindi paghihiganti. Ang tugo ng Pagino Panginoon ay ang pag-ibig at pag-unawa. I know many, many uh, you have many experiences uh, with with rejection or with bullying. You have probably experienced being hurt physically or emotionally or psychologically by people. Wala ka namang ginagawang masama, pero masama ang ginagawa sa iyo. The almost automatic response is gumanti. Gumanti. Sinampal mo ko, sasampalin din kita. Sinaktan mo ko, sasaktan din kita. Nilamangan mo ko, humanda ka, lalamangan din kita. And that is the vicious cycle of violence that exists even in the world. One country in war with another country. Binomba mo itong lungsod namin, bobomba hindi namin ang lungsod ninyo. Pinatay mo yung mga kababayan ko, papatayin ko rin yung mga kababayan mo. And so what happens? 
violence continues. We have to break that vicious cycle of violence. And that is what Jesus did. He did not immerse himself no, in this cycle of violence. He could have done that. He could have sent fire from heaven to teach the Samaritan people a lesson. But he did not do that. Rather, he extended the hand of love. The next time that we are tempted to take revenge, remember this gospel story and remember the mission, the call of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, the call to love. Amen. Please stand. God is patient and aware of my, our miseries. Let us pray to him to help us on the way of conversion and renewal. To every petition, our response would be, Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son that the Christian faithful may heed the call to faith and repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us, us grow, grow in, the, in image the image of your, of your son. son. That God may give us the courage to commit ourselves to the liberation in Christ of all those imprisoned in their selfishness, let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us, make us grow, grow in the image, in the image of, of your Son. That those whose hearts are empty and cold may discover happiness in the love of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us grow, grow in, the in the image, image of, of your Son. Son. That the sick in mind or body may have permanent healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. God of compassion and love, hear the Christ of the world trapped in suffering and sin. Through your Son, who makes all good things possible, we ask you for the grace to follow him always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread Blessed of be life. God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke, the, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, especially Saint Therese, who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go and love. Thanks be to God. Amen.